handling errors mechanism in code igniter we are moving to a major concept which is called as error handling mechanism if you remember for php there are various type of error handling mechanisms and various errors are defined like notice warning which is a serious error based on their severity so all these errors are handled in code igniter as well with some set of functions and many more Many times while using an application, we come across errors. It is very annoying actually for a user or a developer if the errors are not handled properly. So Code Igniter provides an easy error handling mechanism. You would like to take the messages to be displayed if there are some set of errors. So these messages will be displayed when the application is in developing mode rather than production mode or as the error messages will be very helpful to understand the developer that okay this section can lead to error instead of getting inside the production mode with this set of error message these messages will be resolved automatically the environment of your application can be changed by changing the line in your index.php you need to set an environment for handling the errors which is mentioned over here you have to define this environment that if the server is getting into the particular environment thing, the error mechanism will be handled automatically. It may happen that you would like to show the messages to be displayed properly and all that. All these mechanisms are included inside handling errors there. Once the environment is set, so the, it is easy for a error reporting mechanism to solve the problems in a very simpler way or I can say that instead of going to the top model with a set of 100 errors even if there is one error while starting from the scratch it will be truncated automatically. The other important thing different environment will require different levels of re reporting. So based on re reporting the errors okay or by default the development mode will display errors and testing mode and live mode will hide them. So based on the severity and based on the levels like of displaying error we have three basic functions okay for handling the errors the first one is show error first of all I'll give you a brief of these three types of functions the first comes the show error show error function displays error in HTML in the HTML format I can say show error and it appears on the top of the screen so this is the first function that is show error the next one is show 404 show this is actually used to display an error if you are trying to access a page which is not available in your web application system. So this error function will help to show the particular error message. Last but not the least is the log message. Log message function is used to write the log messages. Okay, this is useful when you want to write the custom type of messages. Instead, I can see it is a customized set of error functions which is used. So logging can be done very easily and it is actually done inside application config config.php file. So in that perspective, log message is something which is like customized as per the user's requirement. Okay. So these were the three set of error message. Now I'll show you the syntax, like how is the basic syntax for creating these three error messages. Going to start with the syntax. So let's have a new file. Okay. Here I'll start with the first that is the show error message so show error this is the function which is used to show an error in systematic format so show error will have three parameters the message the status code and heading so the syntax would be like this show error with three parameters show error first will be your message it will be there in the message variable then comes your status code your status code will be mentioned over here and after that comes your heading so heading is nothing but the one which shows the like it is something which keeps you on light like okay this is the error message i'm getting in my code so heading can be an error was encountered this is a demo heading i'm giving you this kind of errors can be given error was encountered so these kind of errors can be given in order to uh, display to the developers or the user like what error message have you got or the heading can be to the specific error also you can customize that. This was about the show error syntax. The next comes is show 404. So show 404. So this will have another uh, parameters also function will be in this way show 404. 
it will have a page this will be your first parameter and log error parameter okay so page first thing will be your dollar page which will be the uri string first parameter for now i'll keep it as blank okay second will be your log error if you are tracked for any set of log errors or something or kept it so this things can be maintained over here for now i'm keeping as null because this is a syntactical thing which I am showing you. The third comes as logging which is done by log message. Log underscore message. Okay. In this function you are logging your errors. It's like you are customizing to some level. So it will take three parameters. First is dollar level. So I will show you the syntax. Inside this I will take first one is dollar level. Level is nothing but the one to show the log level, like what kind of error it is. It is an error, a debug or information, what kind of error is based on the severity. Second comes this message. The second parameter, what message is to be displayed or logged. And next is the PHP error. What is this PHP error? PHP error, whether we are logging it into a native PHP error message or not. So basically this can be either true or false. It is a Boolean value. So these are the three parameters for log message, dollar level, dollar message and PHP error. Level means showing the severity of the error, like whether it is a notice, a warning or an error, genuinely an error. Message would be like what message should be logged and PHP error is like whether we need to include in the native PHP library. The by default configuration for this parameter would be true or false, that are the Boolean values. Now, next thing is like, where are the logging actually done? It's done in your application config, config.php file. Okay, here, I actually track my error message and log it properly. So, it is done over here inside log threshold parameter. So, I'll search for this particular thing. This is the parameter. Log threshold. Okay. What does this does? If you check out the comment over here, the config automatically tells you that error logging threshold. Here you can enable logging by setting a threshold over zero. So it is like zero means disables logging. If you want to set it to one, it means that error message including PHP errors will be displayed and logged in the system. If you set to two, only debug messages will be present in the system. If you set to three, then information messages such as warning or some kind of messages will be shown. And if you set to four, which is the topmost level, all messages will be displayed. Irrespective of whether it is a warning, whether it is an info, whether it needs to be logged or not. But by default, it will consider everything over here. So that value, you can give it over here as one, as four, as uh, three, whatever. For now, I'm keeping it as zero because I am disabling logging. But if you need to turn it on, then you have to give some numeric value between 1 to 4. That is 1 for error messages, 2 for debug messages, 3 for informational messages, and 4th one for all messages. And all these messages are actually logged in your project under application log folder. If you consider for the project, okay, this is there inside application. We have a logs folder, okay. Here all your errors will be tracked if you turn on your logging system. So in this way, error handling mechanism is quite simpler in Code Igniter framework and it is handled very easily.